All right, Hallie, you ready? The Jason and Hallie Show. Pandemic edition. Recorded in front of a live. Dave Kroll. Hi, this is Jason. And Hallie. Welcome back to the year I got the runs. Brian's uh, second question is, do you select smaller races to build up to a bigger one? I already kind of answered that question. I do not train for races. Oh, it's whatever race comes up at whatever particular time of the year that they've scheduled it. So I could legitimately run nothing but 5Ks until I run a 50K. Um, this year, I did run a 10 miler before our half marathon, but um, no, it's just whatever happens, happens. What about you? Uh, if I am training specifically for a race, like when I trained for Honolulu, um, I had time trial races built in. So since I did such a long training plan, it helped me to have a buildup of races so that I could see where I was at in my training, if I needed to tweak anything. And then also, it was really nice to have races built in to break up the monotony of training by myself. And that just, you know, spiced things up a little bit. So. If I'm on a training plan, yes, I do some some pretty specific planning. Um, if I'm not, and I'm just, it's more about quantity of races than it is the quality of my racing, not necessarily. Okay, interesting. All right, our next question is by Richard Dean. And Richard Dean asks, do you and your spouses hang out at all, or is the friendship just based around running? And that's actually a really good question. Um, we have hung out outside of running. Mm -hmm. um, not as much as, as you would think, but our lives are busy. True. Our lives are busy. Um, my wife and I can be homebodies. I don't know about you all. Same. Okay, so homebodies. And um, I think we need to do it more. I think so. We hung out. We went to um, a poke restaurant. Is it poke or pokey? It's One of those sushi bowl is. restaurants. We went there for our first time last year as a um, mm -hmm. two couples getting together. Um, Hallie came to dinner with with Jennifer and I before Kansas. City. City Marathon, but Mark didn't come with us. Mark was out of town, so yeah, we did our carb load at Cupini's. That's at right. Packet That's for right. Half. And are those the only two time? Is that the only time that um, Jennifer and Mark, you and I, all hung out together? I think so. It's the only time I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, but I think we all think that it would be a good idea that we did it more. I agree because something we definitely have in common is a love of food. We all do love when we, food. When we did, when we went to the poke restaurant, all we did was talk about different restaurants yeah. around town. Yeah. So um, we really love Kansas City. We really love going to different restaurants. So I think that could be like a whole YouTube channel I could do. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> um, that's cool. Yeah. So deal. We have to start. We have to start going out more with our spouses. Um, last question, and I'm going to let Hallie read this because it is from the, the um, captain of the Kansas City chapter, Team RWB, and a really good friend of ours. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know what Team RWB is, Team RWB is also known by its full name, Team Red, White, and Blue, and it is a veterans organization that is about creating community relationships between veterans and non-veterans alike. Uh, there's social, physical, community aspect to the whole thing. And Philip, our chapter captain, asks... Actually, may I please interrupt before... Ooh, please do. I want to throw out there that I am civilian, um, but Team RWB is really cool because it allows civilians to become members because the goal is 
to get us all together. Yeah, community engagement. And I knew no one in the military before I discovered Team RWB at races. And I was actually afraid to approach people in the military, even to say thank you for your service, because I just didn't know how to. And seeing uh, people in the military uh, at events allowed me to get over that. And look, I have now one of my best friends um, is in TW, Team RWB. Uh, she's an a Army reservist. Um, and uh, it, it, it's just a really cool way for us to connect. And the funny thing about it is I'm such an advocate that when I travel, I take Team RWB wristbands with me to the airport. So if I see people in military uniforms, I ask them if they've heard of Team RWB and I school them on it. And in fact, two days ago, I was test driving a car and the uh, salesman uh, is a retired Navy vet um, who's probably in his mid-twenties and I was spending most of the uh, test drive talking to him about the benefits of Team RWB. So such a great organization. If you haven't uh, checked it out, please do. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, and let's hear what Philip had Phillip, to ask. A fellow Navy veteran, as your car dealer friend, asks us, how come YouTube doesn't have a love button <laughs> for this video? <laughs> that is a great question. So Philip asked this in regards to our last video that we did, our first non-race, trying to figure out what to do during this pandemic video. I think YouTube needs to have a love button and Philip, thank you so much for a roundabout way of saying that you loved our videos. Um, it's such a nice compliment from you. He is such a supporter of this channel um, and I, I really appreciate it. Um, and the love that we feel from you, Philip, and the love I feel for, from you for my channel um, comes back to you tenfold. Thank you so much. All right, so I hope you enjoyed these questions. Um, my goal was at first to put this as one long video, but um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be breaking this up into segments. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. If you enjoyed it and want us to maybe do this again in the future, please let us know below in the comment section. Um, Hallie spent a lot of time reading comments. I'm pretty sure if she doesn't start her own YouTube channel, she's going to take over mine. I mean, she appears in all my videos. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, I guess um, this is the point where I ask people to what? What, Allie? Subscribe. Subscribe, like, and keep watching because why, Hallie? 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 are the years you got the runs. That's true. See, she's taking over my channel. <laughs> I said you got the runs. I didn't say we. I didn't say me. I know. But I really enjoy that you um, participate in all these videos with me and are such a good sport about doing things like these videos. So thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who watched. I hope you enjoyed the series. See you later. Bye. Bye. I stole your bye. Sorry. <laughs> we should do another shot. Okay. <laughs> oh, not a film. He meant a shot. <laughs> The Jason and Hallie Show Pandemic Edition. Wah, wah, wah.